so we're gonna start working on getting the insulation up inside the dome. But before we do that, we're actually going to double the insulation by cutting some of this reflectix that we bought and mimicking the exact shape of the insulation that we got with the dome just so that we can place it behind it and have like a double wall of insulation. Now one of the reasons we did go with True Domes was because we love the way the insulation was. They actually have sections that go on and as you can tell it has this really nice kind of quilted look because it is sewn over the reflectix and it has a nice tone of gray to it. So it's not gonna look like this stark, sterile looking room. The whole idea is to just kind of make sure that the entire dome is going to be sealed from all four seasons, whether it's hot outside, cold outside. We wanna just make sure that the dome is going to be sealed and comfortable for the guests. So we're pretty much gonna cut it to the size of the reflectix they already have on there. And we're just going to double that up. We're just gonna put that on the inside of the insulation that came with the dome. And so once we connect it to the actual dome itself and start to put it up, it should have two layers of insulation. It should be double insulated. So first we're going to start by trying to lay them out on the reflectix because we want to try and maximize um, as much as we can get out of this roll. So we're going to try and see if we can get a pattern like we started and we're able to at least cut two out of this first section. Alright, so kind of just how we have these two pieces, we're going to um, put the reflectix on the inside of it and that's going to basically go behind um, the insulation before we put it up and that's going to double the insulation that we have in the dome. You don't have to cut it smaller so I can go behind it. We've gotten sort of a groove going on here and it tends to go a lot faster once you start getting them um, cut and up there. I'm really grateful that our dome insulation is actually in pieces the way we're cutting the actual reflectix because some of them are, because some of the insulation that we've seen in other domes tend to be kind of a sheet. Um, or a one piece that you have to kind of hijack up there somehow. But with True Domes, they really, um, I think, thought about the installation process of the insulation and they made it a lot easier for their customers. And we are definitely seeing that because we're able to actually get the reflectix on there by cutting it the same shape as the um, insulation that came with the dome and that is the reason why we're able to trace this so fast and get this up there so I don't think we're gonna be too long on this project just because it's going really smooth I think the biggest thing is figuring out which um, pieces go next but they 
do have a very detailed um, instruction manual just for the insulation itself and that has definitely been a help. So we've been brushing through this project and it's looking so good. And this is not even the final like look of it guys. We still have to put our insulation on top of this which is a really pretty gray on one side and it has reflective stone into the other side. So this is just going to be a double layer of insulation. It's going to really serve the dome well. And we've only started this project, but I can already feel the difference on the inside of the dome. Ordinarily, the sun is normally on the other side of the dome, right here in front of the door. So you normally can tell where the sun is positioned just based on where you're standing in the dome. And this Reflectix already has kind of blotted out the sunshine that comes in right over the door. And we also have another insulation layer that's going to go on top of this. It is time for another roll of Reflectix and this is what we're using. It's an energy saver. Yes, we definitely need that. It has a very hard I, R value. R value, what does that Especially mean? Especially if you give it the, the air gap that they want, which we are. We're going to let the air gap out here. So it's very high at R value. It's going to be very well insulated because we have the canvas, air gap. Double bubble reflectors, air gap, and then like, was it three or seven layer? Yeah, so we're gonna be pretty insulated in here. I think this is definitely needed for the dome. Like I said, we did our research, we even stayed at a dome and it did not have insulation. And we were able to come up with the cons that we did not like about it. So we definitely wanted to make sure that we had this thing fully insulated. Once you're building it, there's kind of no going back. So you want to take these extra precautions. This is going to be something that we're not going to regret. Just to cover 
every possible thing that could happen we're going to double insulate this just in case we have one of those record-breaking heats or record-breaking winters like we had when we first got down here there's no prediction of how the weather is going to turn out for years to come so we just want to make sure that we are prepared for anything a snowstorm a heat wave whatever may come through the mountains we're going to be secured and we won't have to go back and do this again You're also going to be going around and sealing all of the seams with this 3M cold weather foil tape. And that is going to further just insulate this entire dome. Like you cannot over insulate the dome because there's no way for it to be 100% sealed. So on the parts that you actually can seal up, you wanna make sure you take the time and do that. Um, the dome is going to have kind of moving parts the entire time we're gonna have air and light coming in in so much different sections of the dome on the parts where we don't want air or light coming in we're gonna take care of that and try to seal it as best as we can before we put our insulation on there so we're gonna have double insulation we're gonna have all the se the seams taped with this um cold weather protectant so by the time we're done, we're gonna know that our dome can take all four seasons that the mountains actually offer. We almost have that entire section done with the exception of the layer right here, just because that is where one of our windows are and we're going to have to cut that out. So we're waiting until we get to the next set of insulation so we can trace that section out. But the entire top part from the skylight going all the way around into the dome is completed. We even started to put the tape on the seams and this thing looks so nice and neat on the inside. I cannot wait to see the actual insulation kit installed on the inside of here because that's actually going to play a major part in decorating our dome wall is literally going to be what our guests see and so the insulation is kind of the finishing part of the inside of the dome the insulation kit is going to cover this entire reflective that we're putting on and so that's really going to be the finished look so once that gets on here we'll really be able to kind of get a feel for what the the dome will look like on the inside
So we're going to be adding um, tape to all of the seams. And this is a kind of specially formulated cold weather duct tape from 3M. And so, as you can tell, we're more worried about the cold weather than we are the heat. We do know that the AC is going to do its job in terms of cooling off the entire dome. But during those cold winter nights, which we do get some below freezing temperatures sometimes in the mountains, we just want to make sure that the dome is going to be comfortable. We do see the dome being one of those um, hot commodities during the fall and the winter seasons just because it's so beautiful out here. You get the snow on the peaks, you get all the leaf color changes. And so during those later months in the year is when we tend to get all of that really cold weather. So we're just preparing ourselves for that. So this is going to be our last cut of Reflectix and I'm so excited because although it's not troubling or very hard to put up, it gets very repetitive just laying, cutting, and then installing. So I'm ready to move on to another project, but we are almost there. We only have that section left to install and then we are going to start taping this all up and get ready for the actual insulation that we are going to lay on top of that which is going to be this pile here that we got from true domes the actual manufacturer of our dome so this is the last of the Reflectix going up and I have to say it literally made inside the dome feel so cozy and so much I feel like cooler it's helping to block any sunlight that comes and beams down through the canvas it's helping to block some of that light also. We have tons of light coming in through the skylight and also the three windows that we have on the dome. And of course, the huge panoramic window. So being able to bring down the lighting that shines through the actual canvas is going to allow the guests to be so much more comfortable inside the dome. It looks so good and it's not even the finished product. Can you guys believe that this is just the inner layer of the insulation and we actually have a fabric, pretty cool gray that's going to cover this entire thing up and it is going to add the second wall of insulation. We are done putting the Reflectix around the entire dome and we have everything taped up now. We're going to get ready to install the actual insulation that came with the dome. Now we're going to be doing a double layered insulation and what we mean by that is we put up a full wall of Reflectix first and we even added this cold weather 3M tape to the seams to just make sure everything was sealed and secured. And so now that we have the entire room all done, we're going to start adding the actual insulation that came with the dome. So this is pretty much what the insulation looks like. It has that layer of Reflectix on the inside and it has this really nice microfiber kind of material on the outside that ends up being a really, really pretty gray and that's going to be the entire wall of the dome.
That looks so awesome. We didn't really get any instructions on how to overlap the insulation, but we're going to play with it a little bit to see what ends up looking better. So Eric just realized that maybe if we overlap the top one on top of everything, it will have a cleaner look as opposed to that. I really can't tell the difference to be honest with you, babe. Um, they both look very clean and neat, but that one where you just did is a little bit more seamless. I'm glad that we are paying attention and we're actually testing and questioning ourselves in the middle of it instead of waiting for the end. So we're going on that second layer now. We're about to get into where the um, windows are. And as you can tell, we have this window one in so far and it's pretty neat. It covers up the entire um, window section but still um, insulate all around it. So once we're done with this second layer that we're putting in, we don't have that much to go. The way the insulation is cut, um, some you do have smaller pieces, but most of them are those longer pieces at the bottom. And that tends to be the majority of the dome once you put one of them up. It literally takes up about three or four of the triangles. So here we are going into another window section and that's going to cover this entire portion. All right, this is all we have left to do, this one little section here, and then the insulation is going to be done in the dome, and I can really show you guys how awesome the entire thing looks. The entire dome is gray on the inside now because of the insulation, so I can't wait to see um, how we contrast this with a nice light and airy design. I'm really looking forward to getting the interior of the dome build and getting all of it furnished and decorated. That's my expertise and the fun part of all of this, so I can't wait to do that. So we have everything on there with the exception of the skylight. Now we did get insulation for the skylight, but of course that would defeat the purpose by putting them on there. But it is good to know that we actually have them. Worst case scenario, um, we get a guest that really <laughs> does not want the skylight open, or maybe we are closing up for some extended vacation or something and we want to make sure that the canvas is protected up top, we can go ahead and insert them. But we're definitely leaving it open for now because that is part of why we bought this dome because it had a stargaze at the top. Everything turned out so good, better than we could have imagined or hoped for. I remember that the insulation kit was one of our deciding factors on True Domes, but I didn't remember <laughs> how 
amazing it looks. It's this quilted kind of material. So it's like popping off of the wall, giving like a 3D kind of look with these triangles. Everything is so neat and tucked. Every piece has a spot. This thing was measured out to the T for this dome. We are going to be pushing this project forward. Once we're done building the sub walls, we have our AC, our mini splitter ready purchase. We have our electrical panel, our cooktop, our water filtration system. So all of that is going to get built into this section here and you did not want to miss it guys if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel this is a perfect time to do so we're getting this thing ready for airbnb we thank you so much for joining our journey we can't wait to see how we do and see if our hard work really paid off we left everything and sold everything in florida for this dream so there is no plan b this is plan a and plan b so we thank you guys so much for taking this risk with us and we will see you in the next video.